Ya regresó. Hola, teacher. Ya no copien. Ya no, ya no, okay. ya no copien. Ay, teacher. Ay, I'm really sorry. I don't know what happened with uh, my internet connection. So I'm using my cell phone internet right now. I hope really? that works. <laughs> yeah. The Starling is very bad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a Starling. I have Tigo. But uh, Tigo is bad. It is, yes. Um well, but in this place is no is um I don't I don't have uh, problems frequently. So it is maybe one one day in the month that I have a a problem like this. But I hope that can be working soon. Okay. Yes, really sorry. Yeah, no I was problem. giving given time to group number one and we were speaking about um the scores that we have so far, right? Do you have questions about that? We were speaking about the um activities that we are missing that we need to complete. So I'm going to give you a space to do it later on. Okay. Uh good job. The ones that are already completed, all of them. So tomorrow we have the meter exam. Um I will give you 20 minutes at the end of the class to complete the meet the final, I'm sorry. The final exam. It's not a meter. Okay, good. So now, are you ready, Julio? Lady, Cindy, Rodrigo? Yes, we are ready. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. You are free to share your screen. Let me stop sharing my... No, teacher. No, not yet. Uh... Oh, because I started... I started again the section. Let me activate it. Sorry. Just a moment. Oh, now, yes. Can you try? No. At the end, uh, we, we made uh, some change in the... Um, in the... A presentation is mm, Cindy. Uh -huh. Cindy is still uh, making the presentation. Cindy, are you ready? Aún no, me dice que solo agregaron unas últimas cosas y las estoy terminando de poner. Okay, so no problem. So in that case, we're going to move to room number T number three. So you're going to go uh after number three. No room uh T number three. Are you ready? Daniela, yes, Katy, and Rolando. Okay. Yes, teacher. Soy yo y un pato. <risa> yo tengo un pato. Ah. No será, no será Gan gansos. Ganso. Sí, Ganso, tengo ah, Y eso se come, usted, los gansos. Sí, se comen, pero nosotros los tenemos de mascota. Ah, okay. eh, pero okay. los gansos son bravos. Eso es lo que sí, son bravos. bastante para cuidar. Sí, porque. Por ejemplo, a mi casa no entra nadie si, si el pato nos quiere. Sí. Cuida oh, mejor allá, que el perro. Parece en diciembre. En la, no. allá, en, la, en, no. en la universidad, en la Einstein, gansos tiraban ahí a, a cuidar. No había chucho ni nada, puro ganso. Sí, cuidan mejor. Mm. Ok. <risa> Bueno, Rolando va a compartir. Oh, sorry. Uh, Katy dijo que iba a compartir, pero si no, comparto yo. Uh, 
Okay. Hey, okay. this this brand uh, is very. Uh, this was my job with previous. <laughs> oh, it's well known for Carlos. Yes, we we are uh we are a presentation is talk about the the factory the American part. It's one of the main industry part in El Salvador. It's uh, mostly home to international companies. Focus um, mainly on the textile sector. Okay. Dangerous or risky situation due to the accumulation of water from the rain, the river above the free zones overflows and this causes flooding both on the streets and in the internal facilities of the free zone. A business uh, consequences causing the the hazard risk damage damaging inventory stored in the warehouse deterioration of facilities interruption of operation. Finished, Only teacher. teacher. Only that? Only that teacher. But um uh, my question is let me let me let me be, go back. Um, so you didn't explain how has been affected this uh this company. Dangerous uh, a rookie situation. The factory is a problem. Uh, a more uh, rainy. The, the river is is uh, crecido, Ria. How do you say crecido? The river. O deportado. Uh, let me see that is bored thing. I don't make sure, I cannot make, I'm, I don't remember very well. But let me see. No. But how has affected um uh, the employees and the company? Yeah, it's uh, has affected the, the employee in the company. Uh, the river is uh. It's solid. Deportado. Solid. Yeah. Solid. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you spell it like S W O L L E N. Swollen River. Swollen River. Okay. Okay. Um. So there is no any specific case, just in general, right? The uh in this case, the the consequences that the company and and employees suffer, just in general. Okay. Flooding. Okay. Um. The other word that you. Flooding. Flooding. Okay. Flooding. Letting. That you need to repeat. It is similar. Letting. It is similar, right? Uh, when we say that it that is uh uh debordado, as you said. Flooding. Flooding, you can say. Flooding, flooding. Yes. Okay. Um at the beginning when you mentioned that you're going to present, 
we are going to present, okay, this topic and you start presenting. Uh, okay. Or we, because you said we are, uh, we are presentation or we are presenting. We are presenting. Okay. okay. We are presenting we are or we are going to present. We are going to present. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, thank you so much. Only that, right? Okay. Okay. Very good. So, uh, number one, room number one, are you ready now? Or do you need extra time? Yes. Room number one. What is? I think anything? we are not ready yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. We're going to continue with row number five. Where is Gabriela, Mauricio, and Sofia? Gabriela, Mauricio, and Sophie. Ready? Hi, teacher. Hi. I send the, 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 the slices, sorry, in the group. Oh, okay. Do you want that I present? It? Okay. Let me. Yes, teacher, please. Mm. Mm, I haven't received it. Which group did you send it? Right now, teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, just a moment. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. The our cow, cat. I don't know. They say caso. Case. case. <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Our case is the man dies at the friend hardware store after falling from the. Read the uh, hate and the the other slice teach okay according the prim, prim, preliminary report okay it's us. <laughs> <laughs> at the time of the accident and the project was carrying out um, maintenance work at the branch facilities. A man died after falling from the from a great height when he he was working inside in the Frederia Frame branch, located on Los Proceres Boulevard in the municipality and department of San Salvador. Uh, the death of the worker was confirmed by the referee bodies that responded the emergency. The victim, the victim was identified by the name of Jose Luis Vasquez Sanchez, 53 years old. The leaf words indicate and a statement 
statements the hardware store say uh, it regret the accident and the that the employee was a collaborator of the or electrical contractor who was the performing work in our store throws videos captured by a citizen the incident was reported and request was made the refills institutions to address the emergency and in the videos you can see how the employees try to help the victim as well as the arrival of the ambulances uh, after le learning about the accident a team from the ministry of la labor arrived and the sky is kind to That's carry it. out the scenes to carry out their respective pro, pro producers i don't know procedures. Say, procedures. procedures okay gabby yes so gabby we need to practice okay read uh um more than once okay try to record yourself in your cell phone and try to practice and confirm the pronunciation of the words that you are not sure because we need to improve a lot of words okay that we that i can identify here for example emergency emergency identified identify um there are um, more okay that we yes. need to that we need to contractor record. for example i think mm -hmm. or performing i don't know yeah good very good information but we need to improve uh a lot of words in pronunciation okay okay teach thank, thank you so much who else will will uh participate me teacher okay next right Okay. And the second line is a find out hard part or risk that tells business to get in an uncontrollable situation. And I try to uh, explain the hazard and the risk. And as you know, a uh, hazard is any that can cause injury, illness property damage or loss of material. And another thing, risk is the probability and severity of work being uh, harmed by the hazard. Harmed. Okay, harmed. by the hazard. Okay. Harmed by the hazard. And this way, uh, could be the company doesn't anticipate the purchase of safety equipment or activity that involves some type of risk to employees or the establishment. And another is the company doesn't have safety equipment in a good condition. Okay. Those are the, the risk or hazards that cause the 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 situation, right? Yes. And another the another situation could be the company doesn't put warning signs in areas that involve some type of risk. And also, the company doesn't post warning in areas requiring mandatory use of safety equipment. And the company should sign post evacuation roads in case of emergency. In case? In case. In case of emergency. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the consequences. 
Yes, the teacher. Okay, teacher. Um, list the business consequences caused by hazard risks that went beyond control. control. Okay. Well, there are some situations beyond control. For example, some employee doesn't like where the tools and equipment of industrial security. The case of Freon company is a clear example that the supervision can't have the control absolutely. Okay. Equipment. Okay. Please repeat it. Equipment. Okay. Equipment. Equipment. Yes. Okay. Yeah, be careful with the spelling and capitalization. Here, uh, we don't use capital W. And here, it is in Spanish, this word. So be careful with that, okay? Okay, perfect. Okay, that's it? Uh, yes, teacher, yes, that's all. Okay. Good. Um, someone that has questions about this case, or that, do you remember that case? So you can ask questions to the team. If you have questions about the case, you can ask to your team, to the team. No questions? Okay. Well, thank you so much. Very good. Okay, it was well explained in good case to present as an example. Okay, let me stop sharing now. And will be group number... Miss, we are two. ready now. Oh, you are? Okay. Good. You can present now. Okay. Okay, pardon that. So begin. Okay. Okay, um, Rodrigo. Okay. Well, uh, uh, I don't know if you want. I can. I can be the first. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, welcome. Uh, have a good night to all. In our case, we are going to present the uh, deep, the deep water oil spill. So, the background for this case, uh, Cindy. I don't know. Okay, thank you. Uh, the background in resume is the the Deepwater Horizon oil rig operated by British uh, British Petroleum. It was drilling an expl exploratory well in the Gulf of Mexico on April uh, April twenty in twenty ten. A catastrophic explosion and fire on the rig led to the loss uh, of on a uh, 11 lives and the eventual sinking on of the rig. Uh, this incident resulted in one of the largest environmental uh, disaster in the uh, in US US history. Uh, I don't know uh, maybe you uh, Julio. Okay. Uh, thank you Rodrigo. <clears throat> About the risk and hazard uh, the primate the Primary hazard in the case was the high pressure oil reservoir uh, located deep beneath uh, the ocean floor. Uh, the risk was associated with drilling operations and the potential 
for a blow blow uh, blow out, uh, which is the uncontrolled release of oil and gas. Um, factors leading to ineffective control. Uh, several factors contribute uh, contribute contributed uh, to the failure to effectively to effectively uh, control the risk. Um, some factors uh, are equipment failures, uh, multiple equipment failures, and malfunctions, including the blood uh, out, preventer, a critical safety device, uh, led to the inability to stop the flow, flow of oil. Um, lack of emergency response, preparedness, um, BP and its contractors were ill prepared to handle the scale of the disaster, leading to delays in, contain in containment efforts. And number three, regulatory oversight. Uh, there were lapses in regulatory oversight and the relationship between the oil industry. Well, the hazard records the regulatory, okay. regulatory agencies can under the can be severe. Cindy, be careful okay. with mute. Uh, uh, go ahead, girl. The deep water horizon or spill have devastating consequence, including environmental damage. The spill relates on estimated 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf of Mexico, causing severe damage to marine life, coastal ecosystems, and fishing industries. Economic impact. impact. The spill results in billions of dollars in climate costs, finance and compensation payments to affected individuals and business. Reputational, reput, reputational damage. BPS reputation suffered significantly and the incident had low term impact impacts on its brand and financial performance. Various hazards and risks can lead to a business finding itself in an uncontrollable situation. One, natural disasters. Two, economic risk. Three, supply chain disruptions. Four, regula regulatory chains. Five, technological failures. Six, health and safety risks. Seven, market risks. Eight, financial risk. Nine, env environmental risk. Ten, Geopolitical risks. 11. Reputation risks. 12. Operational risks. 13. Complaints risks. 14. Human resource risks. 16. Supplier risks. Here are some com common hazards and risks that can cause, cause such situations. Okay, when a hazard or risk goes beyond control, it can have it can have a wide range of consequences for a business, many of which can be severe. These consequences may include a financial losses, a operational disruption, reputation damage, regulatory penalties, legal liabilities, healthy and safety issues, environmental impact supply chain disruption, loss of customers, employees.
include loss of market share, difficulty of obtaining insurance, loss of inversor confidence, credit rating downgrades, business continued challenge, and bankruptcy or closure. Closure. This consequence highlight consequence highlights the importance of effective risk management, disaster prepares, and crisis response planning to meti mitigate mitigate the impact of uncontrollable hazards and risks and risk. Business must also regularly assess and update their risk management strategies to adapt to changing circumstances and emerging threats. Thanks. Okay, very good, good information. There is a movie that is uh, similar with this case that is called The Burning Sea. Have you watched that movie? It is in Netflix. No. Yes, but uh, it has What's similar the name? Case. The Burning Sea. The Burning Sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good job. Okay, um, let me see. <clears throat> okay, Julio. Mm -hmm. contributed sorry so there is one word that is contribute but is that is in past that it will be contributed contributed okay uh -huh. okay uh also you mentioned regulatory regulatory Regu regulatory yes. yes regulatory regulatory uh -huh. yes okay Mm, lady, so you please repeat damage. Damage. Yes, damage. And let me see. Cindy. Severe. Severe. Okay. Severe. Severe. Yes. It is not severe, it is severe. Okay. Uncontrollable. That is another one. Uncontrollable. 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 Yes. Okay. Very good job. So, good case. Good presentation. <clears throat> now will be group number two. But it is uh, Maria Leticia, Nancy, and Robert. If Robert is not available, so you can do it, Maria Leticia and Nancy. Okay. Okay. The presentation. Anthony's fashion. Okay. Good evening, teacher and classmates. Our case refer to the total close closure of operation of the Anthony Fashion Textile Factory. Anthony Fashion risk or hazard that caused the business to get in an uncontrollable situation. Anthony Fashion was a company that existed between 1998 and 2001 there in El Salvador. It was a textile factory that made women's clothing with its executive line and its special JC Penny line. Everything was going well until on 2001, as a result of the attack of the Twin Towers, 
it closed operation signs it required were in the twin towers. Okay, and I talk about the list of the consequences caused by the hearts and risks. Uh, this consequences is lack of an action plan to avoid a risk, over reliance on all daily action plans, financial loss, loss of customers, full closing of operations, love of liquidity and corporate loss. And that's all. Thank you so much. <clears throat> <clears throat> closure. Repeat that, please, uh, Maria Leticia. Closure. 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 Yes, closure. That is a fact that in this case, this this uh, factory has uh, stopped the operations, right? That is closure. Closure. Okay, good. And Nancy, please repeat uh, <clears throat> consequences. Consequences. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Okay, uh, rule number four, what is, no, sorry. Where, what is, <laughs> what's number two, okay. <laughs> Carlos, Gilberto, and Andres. You are the number two. Okay, teacher. Uh, Andres and Gilberto, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Andresito? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay. Uh, okay. Tear the flies. One second. Bajale un poquito. Okay, se logra ver. Yes, we can see it. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, good evening everyone. And we talk about or oh, one of the jobs that are char characterized by having problems uh more, uh, more accident at war is in the construction area. Uh, we are identifying an example of the uh, on this area is of construction. It uh, was an accident that happened in Santa Elena, which went viral on social network, uh, which caused a slope of hair to collapse, which employees were killed and injured. Don Gilberto or Andresito, please. Yes. <coughs> no, sorry. <coughs> this company will pay about sixteen thousand dollars in compensation to relieve of worker who died in a construction. An exhaustive investigation showed that the company did not take safety measure according to the Minister of Labor. Okay. <clears throat> Spelling here, okay? Be careful. Exhaustive. This is E, no A, no A. Okay. And this is okay. missing the letter T here. <coughs> and here is missing the letter S. Measures. Okay. So Measures. That would be plural. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Gilberto. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Find out the hazard or risk that causes the business to get in an uncontrollable, uncontrollable situation. Number one, not providing personal protective equipment. 
Number two, not carrying on the necessary studies for the developments on the projects. Number three, there was no training for the personnel to carry on the work. Prior training. Training. Prior. Okay. Okay, and the last one slide. Uh, I think that the consequence caused by the hazard of risk uh, for the vent vision control, uh, yeah, there are uh, various, but I think identified or, or try to mention the most important will be the financial loss, because in this case, we the, the company paid uh, $15,000 because uh, of compensation. And the other one, the other one most important could be uh, uh, lost the, the throw so in, a, in the organization. Uh, this is important because uh, uh, the company, uh, they have to uh, identify the problems before to the things could be happen. Uh, mm -hmm. For this reason, uh, we mentioned the two most important uh, hazard or risk. And that's all. Okay. Yeah, you know, I just have a, a little conclusion. Okay. 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 Thank you. In my conclusion, all the companies have to take the measures from the, they always have to provide the appropriate equipment to all their employees if they work in any rich area. Correct. And have someone that supervise. <clears throat> yes, a supervise, yes, exactly. We, yes. we hear our, our employees, so we ask them, we have to demand from the company if the if we need or we have the necessary equipment to be able to perform the job. So in the conclusion, we have to understand that the money can replace a life. In my in my conclusion. Okay, thank you so much. Good. Trust. Repeat that, please, Carlos. Trust. 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 Mm -hmm. Trust. Okay, thank you. Yes, lots Trust. Of trust in the company. Okay, <clears throat> excellent. Very good job. Okay, so all of you uh, work it a lot, investigating, searching, and creating the ideas to present. Okay, good. Okay. Um <clears throat> is there I have questions for you. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Have you been informed about what to do in case of fire or an earthquake? Yes. In my case, this uh, is previous to enter to to work, uh, the supervisor of the uh, industrial security uh, mm -hmm. training about the things to do in case uh, happen an accident or or a big event. Big so, event. Big event. Yes. Yeah, so uh, they mentioned about the 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 number. Uh, we have to to put or, or, or I don't know how to say marcar when uh, exists an emergency is uh, for me is is really is was very uh, fun because the number is triple uh, six 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 when you identify mm -hmm. yes we, the idea for this number is uh, don't forget it. 
right when when yes uh when whatever uh, employees identify some problem or some accident uh, immediate immediately uh, I I can to put or or, or I don't know, how do you say marcar? Marcar el número, teacher. Marcar is dial. Yes, dial triple six, 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 six. And then okay. uh, we have a, 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 a quick re request or the other. There are uh, uh, people uh, prepared for uh, this case. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is good, good. So when when we are in training in a new company, so uh part of the training, it is to instruct the trainees right for the evacuation drills, uh evacuation in any kind in any kind of these events like fire or earthquake. Yes, that that should be part of the training. Okay, good. Uh. So we have a reading that is about a fire escape plan. So we're going to divide it in, let me see, one, two. So when you see the letter that is in bold, in negrita, so this is the title and you're going to stop here, okay? Then the next participant will start from here to the uh, final period before the other subtitle, okay? I need volunteers to read this. Okay, Carlos, thank you. Maria Leticia, good. Lady, Sofia, Mauricio, Gilberto. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, uh, you are the first one, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Uh, let's see, okay. Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. Also, Practice feeling your way up of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Wow, that is difficult. Yes. Because imagine that you cannot see, everything is dark. So how you are <laughs> going to remember what is the exit? <laughs> and now yeah. the emergency, the emergency exit. Yes, it's very difficult. It is. Okay. <clears throat> so adjacent roof is the very near or next to. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Uh, Maria Leticia, you're next. Okay. Immediate, immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not wait any time saving goods. Take the safe exit route, but if you must escape through smoke, remember to call low. Under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient your or at worst overcome you. Okay. Immediately. Immediately. Leave the place. Leave mm -hmm. the place. Waste. Wait. Okay. Safe. Safe. Proud. Proud. Mm. Uh, crawl, Mouth. crawl, teacher, crawl, crawl, crawl. Remember to crawl, crawl low, crawl low, crawl. 
Okay, mouth. Mouth. Okay. Mouth. Teacher, what's mean crab love? Remember to crawl love. This is like a gatear. Porque hay uno. Recuerde bajarse. To crawl. Yes or, or, or not. <laughs> Let me double check. Crawl out. Crawl. Low. Under the smock. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. It's like a gatear, as, as you said. <laughs> okay. Coming, o sea, bajar y prácticamente arrastrarse o ir uh, por el suelo. Arrastrarse bajo el humo. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. yes. Como el video de uh -huh. Mimi. <laughs> uh -huh. Correct. Okay, good. So, number three, never open doors. Uh, lady. Okay, teacher. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of the door, the door knob, and the crack between the door and, and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. If, if it feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. So you know what is the door no. Door no. It's just like a mango. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, good. No then number four. Let me see. Sophia? Okay, teacher. This designate designate. Designate a meeting. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or from sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. Okay, excellent, good. Okay, thank you, Sofia. Mauricio? On to here, it says safe, safely. Okay, once out, stay out. Remember to escape first. Then notify the fire department, never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters they are Equip it to perform rescues safely. Rescues, yes, very good. Thank you so much. And uh, okay. Gilberto, please. Finally. Okay. Finally, having working a smoke alarm in Taldin and over level on the building dramatically increase your chance and survival. The smoke alarm, battery need to be tested every month and change we knew what new we knew what one at least once a year once a year once, once a year once a year mm -hmm. once a year yeah increases increases mm -hmm. batteries batteries Okay, very good. Thank yes. you so much. Okay, good, good. Uh, 
advices, we can say, right? For uh, a fire escape, right? Very good. So, Rodrigue, what is your opinion about this reading? Rodrigo. Sorry, it's a good plan. Uh, it's very similar for the one we have already in the company right now. Okay. And this this type of plan, it's reviewed uh, every year by the, uh, uh, the, the no 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 with the uh, with the uh, the fire the the firemans. Ah okay. Mm -hmm. Because our company must uh, must be must face some some kind of test and permission by the fire the firemans and also the Ministry of Salud. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do they check the alarms, batteries? Every they month? check the alarms. They check the the. How do you say extintores? Extinguishers. Extinguishers, and and they uh, also uh, review the well, the this type of plan, of, but also reviews the all the the marks, uh, the the marks to 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 escape. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of that. All of that. Good. Extinguisher. Extinguisher. That is extinguisher. Yes. Good. Excellent. Okay. So underline the best recommendation in each in each group um about what to do in the event of a fire. Two of them are not right. Okay, we have five here. So we're going to verify that. All of, we're going to read all of them and let me know what, what are the ones, the two uh, that are not right. I'm going to give you five minutes to read it. Hmm. Okay. So for number one, what is the appropriate when fires occurs? Let me see, Gilberto. Leave that place. I seen teacher when fire occur, leave the place immediately. Okay, leave the place. Okay, that is the correct one. Thank you. Uh, Andres, number two, when do you come to to a closed door? Carefully fill the door now and the cracks of the door for hotness. Mm 
Okay, carefully. Feel the door knob and the, and the crack of the door for hot. Okay. Uh, number three. Uh, Mauricio. Designate, designate a meeting place. Okay, teacher. Away from the building. Away from the building, right. Good. Number four, Maria Leticia. Before trying to escape. Remember, before, no after, before, okay? Before trying to escape. Mm. Is notifying the fire department. Fears. Mm. No, 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 no. <laughs> so that will be after. Yes. So that will be escape first yes. without hesitation, right? Mm, yes, escape first. Which was mean hesitation. Hesitate. Hesitar. Hesitate. Uh huh. Como hesitar. Hesitation. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fire alarms. <clears throat> uh, let me see, Gabriela, which one will be the correct one? The fire alarm. Yes. Install them on the top on groups levels. Install them on the top of the ground level. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you so much. Good job. Okay, good. So we're going to move on. We are missing 15. Okay, this will be for tomorrow. We're going to create a, a fire escape plan for your company, but that will be for tomorrow. If you want to bring some ideas, please do it. So we're going to work on the exceptions that we, that we uh, have pending. So I'm going to give you these 15 minutes to work on that sections, okay? Please, uh, the ones that are already completed, it's okay. So you can take these minutes, but don't do, do not leave the meeting, just to stay there, okay? So this time is for the ones that have them pending. Let me see. As I mentioned before, we have, some of them are like four or three activities pending from the section four. Even that we have from the section three, if you have from the section three and if you need help, please let me know. I'm going to help you. So what, what at this moment, we're going to complete the three that we have pending here. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Number one, um, what item is 
How are you looking for? That will be for address. Uh -huh. The safety goggles. Go goggles. Goggles. Okay, Go the safety goggles. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember that conversation? It is about that conversation that we have. Okay, Mauricio. Uh, what is the, the new safety measure about? Do you remember? Okay, what is the new safety measure about? If you don't remember, I can uh, open this conversation. You can read it. Okay. I don't have access to Zoom. Uh, maybe having taken the weight. Mm -hmm. There are two options here. Innovation and design of the construction. The new safety measure will have employees wear safety gear and store tools in a proper location. Yes, the second one. The second the one. Yes. Thank you. Example of equipment in a construction. Carlos. The number three, right? Yes. Uh, rubber boots, reflective vests, and helmet. Okay. Number four, Sophia, what's the purpose of the safety plan? It's to prohibit scatter tools outside the tools room. Okay, to prohibit scattered tool upside the, the tool room. Okay. Tool room. Good. Okay, excellent. All of them are good. This is the homework 4.5 in the section 4. Please complete it, okay? Okay, we're going to move on to the next activity. That is 4.7. Please read it, lady, the first one. Lady. No puede activar el micrófono. Ok. Eh, many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. Hopefully, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. Taught. Taught. Oh, taught. Okay, good. Number one. I disorganize. A disorganize. Have, have been disorganized. Have, have been, been disorganized. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, lady. Okay, uh, Rodrigo, number two. Has not been informed. Has not been informed. informed. Okay, good. Carlos, number three. Has been interested. Has been interesting. Okay. Interested. Okay. Interested. Mm -hmm. Good. Cindy, number four. Uh, 
have been taught. Okay, excellent. All of them are okay. Please try to, if you don't have time or if you don't have the computer or the tool to complete the activity at this moment, take a picture or a screenshot, right? To complete it later on. Because I need that you complete all of them, please. By tomorrow, I need that you have a hundred hundred percent in every every section. And share only pending the final exam for tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to make another review and another activity, but yes, the final exam is for tomorrow. Okay, good. 4.9. Move on to, to 4.9, please. Yeah, remember that I will give you 20 minutes to complete the final exam tomorrow at the end of the class. Uh, if you already completed, it's okay. Okay, I appreciate your commitment. So, but anyways, you will have that 20 minutes, okay? Good. So number one in, the, in this uh, homework 4.9. Maria Leticia, number one, please. I have, I have written, written six mm -hmm. letters and it have been written. Okay, six letters has been written by me. Do you remember this grammar point? What is the name? Passive voice. Passive voice. Okay, good. And this, number two? Has the, has the parcel been received by you? Okay, have you received the parcel? Has have the parcel received been parcel? received by you? Okay. Yes. Good. Excellent. Okay, Gilberto, number three. Uh, have they accepted the invitation? Have the invitation been accepted? Be then. Have they accepted the invitation? Has the invitation been accepted by them? Okay, excellent. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me see. Daniela, number four, Daniela. Number four. She... Espera, me voy a revisar porque ya la hice. <laughs> I have not heard for a long time. Uh -huh. She has been known. Has been known to me for a long time. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Number five, Katy. Gabriela? Gabi? Hi, teacher. Hi. Number five. Um... Champion has been won or has won. Please read the complete the complete sentence. Okay, the champion has won, teacher. Has won. Okay, the champion 
has the championships has won be our team. Okay, remember the first one is our team has won the champ the championship. The championship. Okay. Our team has won the cha the championships. Chip the champ the championship has won be our team. Has been won. Has been has be has been won. Yes, by our team. By our team. Okay, very good. There you have it. All of them, number one, have been written. Number two, has the person been received? Number three, been accepted? Number four, has been done? Number five, has been won? Excellent. Okay. Let me... Check the scores right now to see what which is the activity that we are missing the most. We can complete it. Okay, I can see Carlos 100%. Very good. Cindy 99. Okay, I'm missing just one. Daniela 94. Okay, Gilberto 99. Jose Andres 100. Julio Alberto, 100. I'm sorry, Julio Aristides, 100. Katy, 100. Lady, 100. Luis uh, Rodrigo, 100. Maria Leticia, yes. Okay, just Mauricio Buruca. Mauricio, are you there? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, Mauricio, please pay attention to your scores. So you are missing yeah. all of them. Yes. Okay. I will tomorrow. By tomorrow, I need all of them completed. Okay, Mauricio? Perfect. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Because uh teacher. Before... yes, Gabby. And me. So I will let you know. Teacher, and then we please, have please update. For me, it's um one hundred percent. Okay. Would you? Yes. Good. Thank you. Yes, Gabby. Yes, Gabby, you are good. You have a hundred. Okay. I I I don't see my my name. Yes. Oh, um, I can see the final <laughs> also is completed. It is in the other page because we have two pages here. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. And Sofia Karina is is good. Thank you so much. Okay, good. We are missing just the final in this case. Uh so Carlos, Cindy, uh Gilberto, Andres, you already did it. Okay, excellent. Julio is done. Katy is done. Then Lady, Rodrigo, Maria Leticia, Nancy. Okay, Rolando is almost done. And then Robert that is done with. Yes, very good. So for the ones that haven't completed, don't worry. So we're going to have time tomorrow to do it. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time, your commitment. Okay, that is everything for today. See you tomorrow. That is the last day. Thank you, Miss. Good See you night. tomorrow. See you See tomorrow, you. teacher. Good See night. You. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.